This is Coaster Daddy with another coaster review and today I'm going to be talking about Top Thrill Dragster, the Intamin Stratocoaster and the first Stratocoaster, meaning the first coaster to reach over 400 feet in height, which opened in May of 2003. Right off the bat, this ride's stats are absolutely impressive, standing at a height of 420 feet, reaching a speed of 120 miles per hour, which it reaches on its hydraulic launch in four seconds, 90 degrees up and down on its top hat element, and the drop features a vertical spiral. Very simple ride in layout, just featuring that huge 420 foot tall top hat element where you go up and down 90 degrees, and then you have the twist going down. This is a really exhilarating ride and what it lacks for in length and ride time, it absolutely makes up for it in that launch, sheer speed, the exhilaration and its intensity. Cedar Point is obviously known for breaking records and this is how they broke the 400 foot barrier on coasters after breaking the 200 and 300 foot barriers. And this is the last 100 foot height barrier that has been broken to date. Top Thrill is still the second tallest coaster in the world and the third fastest. So it's pretty astounding. After 16 years, it is still standing really well in terms of its stats. So how's the ride experience on Top Thrill Dragster? First, let's look at the POV. You start out, you have the race lights here and it counts you down. Then you hit this absolutely insane very very intense hydraulic launch you twist up you go over the top hat here you get a nice great pop of ejector airtime you go down that spiral and then it's just a stretch of straight track into the final brakes so like i said very simple ride just the top hat this is sort of the essence of the whole idea that a coaster does not need length to make it good. A ride can be very long and drawn out, not be paced very well, lose a lot of its speed. This is the whole antithesis of that, where it's just, it hits you hard and the ride's done. And what it does, it does extremely well. Sitting in the train, waiting for that launch, the anticipation of that is just so nerve wracking. You're just sitting there and you know you're about to, you know, experience th this really high G-force being exerted on you. And it's just a matter of waiting for it to kick in. Then you see those lights and you're just off. And the launch is very smooth, a little bit of rattling maybe, but not not rough in any way and it's unreal hitting 120 miles per hour in four seconds it's a very fast acceleration probably one of the most intense coaster elements you can find really obviously top thrill dragster for all of its life has experienced a lot of downtime and that's due to the technology used on this ride and its groundbreaking nature it's very prone to breakdowns it's hard to get on this ride sometimes and it also will experience rollbacks quite often as well and then everything has to be reset and moved back it's really frustrating sometimes trying to get on this but if you're somebody that's just going to cedar point once or you know just going for a few days or something if you can get on this ride you really need to get on it it's definitely worth it to experience it once you get on it you will be glad you did top thrill dragster 16 years after its debut is still a great marvel in roller coaster engineering and there's not a lot out there that is quite like it. If you go to Cedar Point, you absolutely need to get on this ride if at all possible. It can be very frustrating, but if you're able to get on it, make sure you ride this. I'm going to rate Top Thrill Dragster a very solid 8 out of 10. It delivers what it delivers extremely well. I would probably give it a little bit of a higher rating if there was a little bit more to it, but at the same time, I don't think there needs to be any more. It is great sometimes to just have that exhilarating one-two punch and, you know, just be like, what just happened? And uh, Top Thrill delivers that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like Coaster Daddy on Facebook, follow me, Coaster Daddy Official on Instagram, and like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.